Meron dalawang klase ng titas. Ang titas for independent sample kung saan nagkukumpara ka ng means ng magkaibang grupo. For example, gusto mong ikumpara ang dalawang section or scores ng dalawang section. Ang titas naman ng correlated samples is you are comparing the before and after treatment. For example, the pre-test and the post-test or kung gusto mo naman tungkol sa gamot, the before treatment and after the treatment. Sa video ito ay magpo-focus tayo sa t-test ng correlated samples. Supposing you want to conduct an experimental study kung saan gusto mong malaman ang effect ng program materials mo sa math. So then, an experimental study was conducted and we are going to test 20 college students for this experiment. Before natin i-implement ang ating program, we conducted a pretest with the following scores. We then implemented the program. And after 5 months, we used the same instrument para i-test naman ang ating 20 college students if there is a significant difference after natin i-implement ang ating program. And we got the following results. Now the problem is, is there a significant difference between the pre-test and the post-test on the use of the programmed materials in mathematics? Ang null hypothesis natin sa ating problem is there is no significant difference between the pre-test and the post-test or the use of the programmed materials did not affect the performance of 20 college students in mathematics. Our alternative hypothesis naman is the post-test result is higher than the pre-test result. So ang gagamitin natin na computation is the t-test for correlated sample. So for the formula, ang d-bar dyan, yan ang representation natin for the mean difference between the two research. Ang summation of d squared is the sum of squared difference between the two research. Summation d naman is the summation of the difference between the two research. Ang level of significance natin sa problem na ito is we are going to use 0.05. So in order to see the t tabular value, you are going to find first yung ating df or degree of freedom. So sa pag-solve sa degree of freedom for correlated samples, we are going to use the formula n minus 1. So, dahil meron tayong 20 college students, we are going to subtract 20 minus 1. So, our degree of freedom is 19. Let us see 0.05 level of significance. Tapos, degree of freedom, 19. So, we got the t tabular value of negative 2.093. To solve this problem, I am going to recommend to make four columns. Yung unang column natin is we are going to write all the pre-test scores, which we are going to label as x sub 1. Tapos, on our second column, we are going to write our post-test results. We are going to label that as x sub 2. On our third column, we are going to label that as d. Diyan natin ilalagay ang difference ng ating x sub 1 and x sub 2. What you're going to do in this column is you are going to subtract x sub 1 to x sub 2. So kung negative siya, ilagay mo din na negative siya. We have for example, our x sub 1 is 20 and our x sub 2 is 25. That will give us a negative d or negative 5 in the third column. Then do the solutions. On the last row, ilagay natin ang ating summation ng lahat ng difference. So from our results, the summation of the differences 
of our pretest and post-test result is negative 81. Then we find the average of this difference by dividing the summation of difference divided by our n, which is 20. So our d bar is negative 4.05. Para naman sa ating fourth column, I recommend to square the d, wherein you are going to refer to the third column, tapos is square mo lang. On the last row, you are just going to sum it all. So, here in our example, our summation of d squared is equal to 947. After, pwede na natin siyang substitute sa ating formula. Our d bar is negative 4.05. The summation of d squared kung saan nakuha natin sa ating fourth column is 947. Minus... The summation of D, which is negative 81, now, kailangan mo siya is square. So, I recommend to put it in a parenthesis para hindi tayo ma-confused. All over sa N, which is 20. Tapos, divided by our N times N minus 1. So, we have 20 times sa parenthesis, sa loob ng parenthesis, 20 minus 1. So, we are going to solve. Our T computed value is negative 3.17. Now, the decision rule is that if our T computed value is greater than or beyond ng ating T tabular value, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. Seeing that our T computed value is negative 3.17 and this is beyond at 0.05 level of significance with a degree of freedom of 19, therefore our null hypothesis is rejected and our research hypothesis is accepted. What does this mean? This means that the post test result is much higher than our pre test result. What does it imply? It implies that the program materials we use in mathematics is effective. Yan po lamang sa video ito. Huwag kalimutang i-like kung nakatulong sa'yo. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video and happy learning!